Hello and welcome to this video where you will learn how you can easily write your academic papers in Notion. But first, why would you even use Notion for that? Well, you probably know the situation. You have a paper to write, but no idea where to start. You're kind of drowning in literature and your notes are scattered all over the place. And you just don't have any system to turn all your hard research work into some actual results. Does that sound familiar? Well, that's how it was for me whenever I had a paper to write. It usually all started with me feeling pretty overwhelmed. So much literature to go through, no structure in place to sort what I found, and certainly no time to take a deep breath and look for a good system to do it all. So what I usually ended up doing was writing my words in, and my notes in, in Word while copy-pasting links to sources in like a frantic attempt to try and organize my readings. And pretty needless to say, that isn't a very effective approach. I wish I had found Notion earlier because it's absolutely amazing at organizing these sorts of projects and that's exactly why I've created a template so that you can organize your next writing project and write an absolutely fantastic paper without all the unnecessary struggle. You can find a download link for this free template in the description. I will now walk you through the different features and how to use the template. Um, if you're looking for something specific then feel free to use the timestamps uh, in the description to jump ahead. Uh, and yeah, that's it for the introduction, uh, introduction, so let's get started with the template. Okay, so this is the uh, main and first page of the academic writing in Notion template, which kind of serves, serves as the command center from which you start everything. So let's quickly go through it and then we dive into the specific subsections. At the very top, you have the navigation bar to yeah, go uh, to all the subsections. And then you have three columns, quick links, quick notes, and active writings. Quick links, that's an area that you can heavily customize at everything here that you need to access often, like your favorite research portal, the university internet, links to any articles that you reference often. So everything that you just need to <laughs> click on on a daily basis or as part of your you know, power up before you go into the writing process, add that here. Next, quick notes, that's just a handy section for you to uh, add any thoughts that you have without having to interrupt your workflow. So you just hit the new button, write whatever comes to mind and then it will uh, show up in your inbox and you yeah, don't just need to worry too much about it at this point. And then lastly, active writings. Um, that's because while this template uh, is uh, perfectly capable of helping you writing an individual paper, it will be already awesome for that, help you to streamline a lot of things. Um, it will really, really uh, uh, start to be super powerful once you use it for several writing projects because then you start seeing like these network effects between uh, all the projects. Uh, and that's why you have this section here. If you work on several things at once, you can just uh, easily navigate to a specific one. Um, then down below, you find your inbox. Obviously, one of the key, key steps of academic writing is research, and that's why this template is designed to make it as easy as possible for you to um, collect the things that you want to read, uh, start your research on them, distract uh, like the, all the knowledge from there, and then turn it into actionable or uh, like tangible uh, pieces of result. And the inbox is the first step to that. You can obviously add any like entry manually by just clicking on, on new here. Um, but if it's something that you're reading on the internet, it's actually far easier to just use the Notion Web Clipper. So if this is an article that you want to add, you can just uh, go on the Web Clipper uh, and then click on like uh, Save Page and it will show up in the database. And now you can fill out uh, the information, you can set your status to read, you can fill out author year, short citation, all these things. Um, although here, I would recommend that you, before you start a project, you uh, go and look, okay, what are the rules? How do I need to cite my stuff? And then just once quickly go into the properties of the database and make sure that you have the correct uh, citation properties set up because uh, depending on where you're writing or what you're writing for, you'll have different rules of how to do this. And it would be a shame if in the end you have to go back and redo all of them. So my recommendation, check it out, like what you need to do in the beginning and then set up these properties correctly and then fill them out every time you add something to your list. Um, we're going to cover pro topics in a second. The last thing that you add then is uh, your priority and once you add a priority, it will disappear out of your inbox and jump onto your reading list for you to read. Uh, while we're at this, um, the Notion Web Clipper is awesome, but there are actually far more powerful solutions. One of them that I like in particular is Save to Notion. 
And the cool thing about that one is that you can set up a whole uh, yeah, set of rules. So as you see, uh, I add also now something uh, to this database, but it automatically will fill out the status as to read, so I don't have to do it manually. And then it gives me all the fields already here. So while I'm on this page and while I see all of this, I can already say, hey, the author, that's uh, me <laughs> and uh, the years 2022 and all these things. And now if I add this new page, uh, it will uh, fill it already out with a lot of uh, the information. Um, don't know why this doesn't show up, you know, but like usually <laughs> it, it works perfectly. Maybe I picked a, I probably picked the wrong database. But uh, yeah, this is just really, really handy to make sure that um, uh, yeah, you just save on a bit of clicks and speed up the process. Okay, moving on. View reading list, that's uh, yeah, uh, your queue, right? It automatically sorts it by priority. So uh, just pick from the top and work your way downwards. And once you're done reading something and you flip the status uh, from to read uh, to uh, one of the other statuses, it will disappear out of this list. Cool. So that's for uh, all of it for our dashboard. Uh, let's uh, quickly uh, take a closer look uh, while we add readings on, your, on the, the other ways that you can view things. So ah, now, now it's here. I don't know why it didn't show up <laughs> before. Maybe it just took a second to load. Um, it, it's now in your inbox and you see author and year is already filled out. Let's delete it. Um, yes, so you have your reading list, the things that you, that you read right now. One cool thing is you have also the most used readings. Again, this uh, is mainly one if you use it for several projects, but already in one project, this will come in handy because it will automatically tell you how often do you reference a specific article. So it's just an easier way to um, collect these um, yeah, core pieces of literature that you keep coming back to and you, every time you have to search for it in your folders, uh, but with this template, they will show up automatically and you also see like a handy score, like how often do you actually use them. And then at the very bottom, uh, you find uh, your status list. So what are you currently reading? What is uh, on your uh, reading list and what, what are finished projects? Um, to yeah, just keep uh, an eye on this. And obviously you also have a master table with all the information that, you, um, that you've added to them. So uh, that was the readings part. Uh, and now let's cover one of the super cool <laughs> features of this template, and that's topics. Um, topics are a way to solve the big issue uh, that you usually have uh, in academic writing and research, in that you need to somehow match all the stuff that you read to the output, to the stuff that you write. But um, that's often not easy because usually uh, if you read one article, it doesn't just apply to one specific part of your work, right? If, uh, it's rarely the case that you have like uh, one specific uh, subchapter in, in your writing and then you find like an article and all it covers is like that specific subsection. So you can just easily know, okay, yeah, I, I just used this article when I got to this section. Usually uh, they're like, a, uh, like one article has like lots of different uh, sorts of information and quotes. Uh, and the way this template solves this problem uh, is through topics. Um, so how does it work? Uh, well, whenever you read an article, so let's go back to, to readings quickly. Uh, let's say, okay, we are reading the three principles of effective learning. So whenever, when we read this article, we want to go uh, in and whenever we uh, see like a topic uh, that here in, in this article, we want to add it to the related topics. So in this case, I've only added effective learning. Um, you can obviously go as granular as you want uh, to um, make sure that like everything that you uh, use in your own uh, writing is covered here as a related topic. And then afterwards, you see in your topics uh, all <laughs> these topics. And uh, they come with their uh, own little dashboard. So there's a template set up that you can load in. And then you open it and you see uh, on this page directly uh, a, if you have meeting notes or brainstorm notes uh, about uh, this topic, they will show up. If all your writings uh, that you created about this topic uh, later down the line will show up here. And most importantly, every single piece of article uh, and every single article uh, or piece of information that you consumed where that topic played a role will show up here. And that will just tie everything together and bring everything together in one place. And now you can do uh, a few things uh, with that first. Now that you see everything in one place, it's far easier to connect the dots, right? You see 
uh, well, this uh, one specific topic gets referenced across like X amount uh, of articles that have all different angle, but in the end, they're all about uh, this core aspect. Um, what you can do as well is you can uh, use some more space down below on the page to start writing evergreen notes. Uh, right? So after you've now consumed a lot of stuff on the topic of effective learning, you could just write a short sum summary here at the bottom or like a long one if you wanted to. And then whenever uh, you need to do anything with the topic, you have like your own uh, excerpt at the bottom and don't need to go looking for something. You can, you can just use and reuse this all over again. Plus, and that's the last part, but uh, we get to that in a second, uh, topics uh, play a very important uh, part in, in uh, some sort of magic that this tangent is able to do, but we'll get to that in a second. First, uh, let's move on to the writing HQ, which is uh, yeah, probably the core piece <laughs> of this template. This is where you organize all of the projects. So um, the template comes uh, with presets for three types of writings. You can write chapters, books, and articles. So in this, uh, uh, the idea would be that an article is a standalone piece uh, of publication, uh, a book is a larger project, and then chapters are the individual parts of your larger projects. But you can obviously organize this also in a different way. Now, um, you obviously on this page have like a, a master list of everything that's going on, and you have a status view, right? What is an idea? What is in brainstorming? And so on and so on. And you have also your uh, writings sorted by topic. So you see the topic here and then all the writings that are related to it. That's nice, um, but let's actually uh, take a look at how it would work. So let's say we want to write a new uh, article. Um, so let's write an uh, article on effective learning. Awesome. Um, what we can do now is we can click the template button and this will automatically load in uh, this specific dashboard for our writing projects. Um, we have again like navigation bar, that's not as important. Uh, the cool thing is now we have a, a bunch of fields, right? We have related writing, so things that we connect to this. Uh, this is particularly useful for like the, right, the book and chapter thing. So if we go up here and say, okay, um, this belongs to something, uh, then like to maybe it's not an article, maybe it's part of the book, then we put the book here and then it will pull this in down below. And we have also similar writings that will pull in uh, writings that cover the same topics, notes and uh, for, for meetings and for your brainstorms that you tagged, readings, and then your draft section. But for now, it's all pretty empty, right? Uh, well, this is where topics come in. So at this point in your process, you've already read a lot of things, right? You've done your research and now it's time to write it. Uh, and usually what you would now need to do is you need to go back to all your stuff and uh, try to find <laughs> all the information that you uh, put together. But with this template, it all happens automatically. So you just go on topics and you pick now all the topics that are relevant to that article. In this case, it's just one. So let's click this one and boom, all of a sudden it will pull in everything that's related to it, right? We have uh, our related readings and uh, the similar writings are here. The readings uh, will populate in a second, but sometimes takes a moment, but it already is up here. So we see, okay, uh, principles of effective learning, studying for the bar exam. All of this is the research that we had uh, before that belongs uh, to this uh, project. And we can see it in here. Let's actually click out of it and give it a second uh, to load. And then it also should show up down below. Yep, there it is. So now you see on your dashboard, you have all the readings that are relevant to this one. So when you write your draft now, you have everything here in one place. Um, you uh, can click on it and you would have like your summaries up here, right? Or like the quotes and everything that you want to use. And that just makes everything a lot easier. So that much for the writing part. Uh, let's just quickly look at notes. Um, this is uh, just a very simple setup. For you, uh, with so far uh, two types of notes, preloaded meeting notes and brainstorm notes. Um, if you take a new note, it appears in your inbox, you can process it and then it will show up down below. You have templates set up for them and you can obviously add new templates. And if you wanted to, you could turn this into a full-blown Zettel custom. Uh, Zettel custom, if you don't know, is a very uh, famous and popular note-taking technique. I have another video on this one with also a free template that you can use and you can actually combine it with this to basically have the Zettel custom here in this note section. Uh, I'll leave the video in the comments and in the description below so that you can 
check it out. Awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, I think now we covered everything uh, about uh, this uh, template. Oh, yeah. One last quick thing. If you uh, create a, a note, make sure that you either tag it with a topic. So if this meeting uh, covered effective learning, then make sure to add it to effective learning. That way, whenever you uh, write something on effective learning, this meeting will show up. Or if it doesn't belong to a specific topic and only to like a specific writing project, tag that one and again it will show up into the in, in the dashboard of that uh, yeah writing project so that's the template for academic writing in notion again you can find the download link in the description if you're a student then i recommend you also check out my articles on effective learning to make sure that you don't waste any time studying you can find it as well down there below and if you have any questions regarding the template or wish it had some other features then please let me know in the comments I will be sure to answer every single one of them. If you enjoyed this video, it would help me out a lot if you could give it a like. And as always, if you want to learn more awesome Notion tricks, get regular free Notion templates, and are looking for ways to streamline your workflow, then you should definitely follow this channel. See you in the next one.